short petticoats and a fancy dress, is a thing to imitate in tableaus and have in lithograph on pretty songs, but a Nancy, being a creature in a cotton gown and cheap shawl, is not to be thought of. It is wonderful how virtue turns from dirty stockings, and how vice, married to ribbons and a little gay attire, changes her name, as wedded ladies do, and becomes romance. But as the stern truth, even in the dress of this, in novels, much exalted race, was a part of the purpose of this book, I did not, for these readers, abate one hole in the dodger's coat, or one scrap of curl paper in Nancy's dishevelled hair. I had no faith in the delicacy which could not bear to look upon them. I had no desire to make proselytes among such people. I had no respect for their opinion, good or bad, did not covet their approval, and did not write for their amusement. It has been observed of Nancy that her devotion to the brutal housebreaker does not seem natural, and it has been objected to Sykes in the same breath, with some inconsistency, as I venture to think, that he is surely overdrawn, because in him.